welcome to the Lord of the Dead. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Les Two Hands Brown. Special guest appearance from Lil No Hands Brown. Um, today we got some uh, some beer mail, didn't we? The beer map and the boys in New Zealand um, for the Lord of the Dank. Five so we got um, Mike and Caleb's from um, Hard Yards. The boys at Hard Yards. Sticky Let's days on the list, Lil. Can I read okay, try. Knob. <laughs> <laughs> yep, from Knob. knob eh? What a knob end. Wonder. Wonder. <laughs> no, this is from um, from No Quarter Brewing. It is. It's um, no quarters. Double IPA. Turn to the dank side of the force, and it's Dank Vader. Next, ooh, original Dankster from uh, Tube Dinos. Uh, Aurora Vienna Columbus, six point four percent. There you go. This is Dank Sabbath. Um, so this is the choice, as you can see, for today. He's empty, so we pour this up. Um, dank Sabbath Volume Four. Uh, Seven point three percent ale malt, Gladiator toffee, light crystal Munich sour grapes, uh, hops Summit Nelson Savin, Simcoe Cascade Centennial and Mosaic Summit onion and uh, garlic in there. Some, that's what I get anyway from Summit so far. We'll see. Um, I guess that'll be dank though, right? Okay, what else, Lil? Last Dankster but not least, Dankster wrap. Dankster wrap. Uh, pretty cool label right, guys, there. There she is pulled up um, the lighting here is shocking uh, I don't have a torch either so apologies for this car like that sort of mahogany you know that ruby sort of color what would you call it oh, would you say that ruby red yeah okay so there you go uh, it's not clear definitely not clear at all um, haze for days yeah, on that's that good uh, thin head but comes up really easily with some um, some swirling nice foamy head now um, and it seems to stick around um, unbroken cap so very good there in appearance uh, had some nice mouse like carb underneath the cap there uh, and some bubbles uh, streaming up as well so all good there now we'll um, get into the aroma yeah so there's definitely some sort of dank qualities to it um, but I'm getting a lot of uh, caramel and toffee in the from the malts coming through as well. But I think there's that and pine resin. There's something else under there that yeah. I can't pick. What do you get? Look. Pine. You get pine. Pine. And hops. <laughs> there you go. There is a lot of that um, in there. That's for sure. So yeah. I think at the moment, even though it is actually yeah, so not getting now. a huge amount of hops. Um, yeah, it's not punching me in the face with, um, you know, tropical citrus. <laughs> what? Punching me in the face. <laughs> it's not. There's no fist of hops coming out and <laughs> smacking me in the grill. Definitely more um, malt sweetness in there, I think, in it. No. Oh, don't do that. I'm just trying to smell it. You can't smell it through a bottle or a cap. <laughs> and then we've got to them set a little while. Drink um, filled up memory cards uh, to delete some stuff, and we lost the lighting. Um, so getting a bit later in the day. Um, I had time though to uh, um, to mull, I guess, over this beer. I've uh, been drinking on it, smelling on it, and it got me some time to uh, write up my notes. So I get a fresh sipper. Mm. So, cheers, Carl. And um, I'm just going to go over my notes um, quickly. Sorry about, you know, didn't get to. Well, you can sort of see probably now better um, with the lighting, at least the colour. Um, but it's not doing it justice now either. It looks a bit lighter um, in the uh, on that sort of red mahogany spectrum. But all right. It's going to go over these notes. Um, so. uh, depth of aroma. We have the aroma. So, 
getting some underlying sort of citrus in there, um, sort of generic that I can't exactly pinpoint what it, you know what Definitely it is. Some dankness um, in there as well, um, for lack of a better term to describe it. You know, that sort of a wet, stinky thing. Maybe that's from the summit though, Carl. Definitely Maybe. pine resin yeah. dominates um, for me yeah, in the hops. Yeah, so, uh, and the malt, well, yeah, yeah, toffee and caramel, toasty sort of quality. Um, um, again, flavour. Maybe that sort of citrus grapefruit thing underlying in there, uh, and that earthy pine resin thing. Hop bit in the hops is definitely on the lighter side, The um, especially for a 7.3% uh, um, you know, double IPA, um, and the sweetness is uh, apparent um, in the flavour. You definitely get it, getting that come through. Um, I am anyway. Um, yeah, because it finishes really um, light, like the bitterness is there, sort of midway through. You get it, and then it just it leads more towards the the sweetness, the sweeter side at the end, um, rather than the bitter, and then that sort of. You know, leaves it a little bit, you know, sort of that sticky sweetness that lingers around you know, rather than the bitterness. Um, yes, yeah, so I have to say, definitely on the lighter side for that. Um, flavor with the malts, again, definitely caramel toffee. You know, that toasty caramel toffee thing is uh, is the it's high the standout. The very um, well in there. You know, you don't get that now at all. Um, I'd say sort of low to medium, that kind of mouthfeel. Um, I think uh, if it had less of the toffee, if it was a pale beer, it'd be on the lighter side of that Overall as well. impression so of Carl's uh, Dank Sabbath, Volume 4. Um, I'd definitely say it's uh, on the sweeter side um, with the malts. Because uh, of the sweetness, that sort of... Uh, um, malt sweetness in the caramel toffee thing, um, but yeah, good craftsmanship, um, a good beer. Like if I bought this in a shop, um, I'd be happy. I'd be very happy to um, to be drinking on this. Um, yeah, it's a cool beer. So nice work, Carl. Um, it's good just to be able to try one of your beers. Finally, um, I think the malt sweetness, uh, although it's not offensive, it could be lessened. Yeah, just maybe dial back, could dial back a little on the toffee caramel um, thing, but yeah, personal preference again, repeating myself here, but um, I do believe that it takes away from the hops. Um, it's carbonated, um, uh, the hop aroma and the flavour, um, but I guess that's the style, um, you know, if you're going for uh, amber. To red, sort of, you know, that color spectrum. And that's what happens. You, know, you, you use those caramel malts, and um, it adds that um, sort of unfermentable um, sweetness to it, I guess. Um, and yeah, I know a lot of people that absolutely love love that kind of thing. So um, it's just not my personal preference uh, when it comes to a uh, hoppy beers. I just like them, you know, hop forward. Anyway, um, that's what I got. So. There you go, uh, for what it's worth, because <laughs> uh, obviously I'm an expert on all this stuff. You're right. Anyway, cheers. Um, thanks for the beer, Carl. Thanks for um, thanks for going to all this trouble for us, um, organising this comp. Let me be a part of it because I did get in late. Um, I really do appreciate that, man. Uh, it means a lot to me, and because um, I want to get back into this, and and um, this, you know, what better way to um, to get back into to be a part of this with you guys? So, again. Thanks, Carl, for the beer. Thanks for all the hard work you've done, um, shipping and being the hub and everything like that. And it's awesome to finally get to try one of your beers after um, all these, well, I guess it's been a, yeah, what, a year or longer now. Um, been watching your videos from the very start, from um, the first video you ever did, mate. So cool to finally be able to get to try one of your beers. Um, yeah, so cheers to you all, guys. Um, good luck in the competition um, but again I think we're all winners and as lame as that sounds um, just to be able to 
try everyone's beers. I think that's yeah, that's cool enough um, for me. So cheers, cheers, cheers. Brew great beers. More of these, Carl. Keep them coming. Cheers. <laughs>